Hello and welcome back to Morgan's Cottage. Uh, today something pretty incredible is going on and I'll just have to show you, hang on. So the incredible thing that's going on is that it is absolutely beautiful outside. I don't think I've been here on a day where the sun has been shining, there's not much wind. In fact, there's almost no wind. Look at this, bone dry. The ground is dry, like it's just something else. The garden, every time we come down, is more overgrown, which is mad because we've just started cutting the grass. Um, but yeah, look at this. What an absolutely incredible day to be here. It makes me so happy. So we have lots on the agenda this weekend for while we're down here. Uh, today's Saturday, it's Saturday morning, so we'll be down today. We'll go back up to Dublin later this evening and then we'll come back down Sunday morning because it's supposed to be really nice tomorrow as well. Um, but today, what we're going to try to do is get all of this grass cut. And then what we're going to do is get all the grass over in the garden section cut where we're going to do all our planting um i'm just stoked i'm so happy to be here when it's absolutely freaking beautiful outside like this is we're living the dream today today is the dream and we are living it are you living the dream morrigan she is she didn't say yes but she is So the batteries just died on the brush cutter, which is fine. We got quite a bit done. So just to show you how we're looking now, we've got this whole section. Morgan's being such a good girl. Morgan's being such a good girl. Come here. Do you want to come in? have a sniff in the grass. So we've done quite a bit now. Not a lot, but quite a bit. Let Murray have a little sniff of it. I drink my coffee. I need to go get a break. Um, but I haven't yet. But yeah, this is what we've done so far. So it's about half three, kettle's going because I'm going to make Morrigan some chicken. Um, and we've done a good bit of cutting off the grass. We're waiting for all the batteries to charge now. So we've got a fair bit of grass cut, um, but I needed to go to the store and get a rake. So we went, we got a rake. I got a new hammer because my hammer went missing. And for anyone that knows me will know that I don't like driving anywhere that I've never been. Not that I've never been to this little town that's nearby before, but like I'm not, like I don't know it very well and I don't love driving somewhere that I don't know well. So anyway, we drove, we were big brave girls. Uh, it's still absolutely beautiful outside. You probably can't hear me because the kettle's boiled, but it's stunning outside. So I'm gonna make Morgan something to eat and then I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna rake. Thank you. 
Hot. A little progress on the grass. Obviously we haven't touched anything over there, but we've done kind of all, that's the boundary. We've done all over here. So Morgan's definitely happier. She needs a drink though. We get you a drink of water. So welcome to our pre-dinner walk. It's about 20 to seven. And we are just out for a walk. Um, Morgan likes to get a bit of exercise in before she is spoiled with her dinner. So we've gone for a walk, probably about three kilometers now. I was hoping we would see some cowsies or some horsies or goats or anything, sheep, anything. But we happened to come across a thing, which is a bit disappointing. Um, so anyway, we were gonna walk there's like quite a big loop. It's probably about a seven or eight kilometer loop um, to a local kind of town near us that just literally has like a post office and then the shop are the same building. And it's, I think attached to someone's house. Like it's a real small little country kind of thing. So we were gonna walk up to that, but it was still about a half an hour away from where we are. And we've been walking for about 40, eh, no, maybe 35 minutes. Um, it's quite warm. And I think Miss Morgan could do with a drink and I didn't bring one with us. So anyway, we're gonna go back to the house. Um, because yeah, it's just maybe a bit hot, so. But she's having a good walk. Oh, I think I see teenagers ahead. <laughs> Out on their own little walk. Terrible. Um, but they're past where we, we're going, so we won't see them. But uh, yeah, it's been a really busy day. Um, all I've really got to film is cutting the grass because that's taken all day which is fine uh it's been necessary I'm only about half through the garden and I want to do um around the flower, flower beds and I want to do kind of over by the stables like there's a lot of grass that needs to be done that's not even kind of the land um but sure look it'll get done um yeah so we're gonna go back to the house have something to eat, have a cup of tea. We might relax for a little bit. And then I would like to, I mean, if it's still bright and it's not too late, get out and cut more grass. Um, there's also, I need to transplant some of my uh, sunflowers and stuff like that. They need to be put into bigger pots. My pumpkins, like just a couple of things need to be transplanted. So I have that to do. Uh, Obviously, the plan was, is, and that'll be in probably Saturday's video, not the one that you're watching now. Um, the plan was to 
try to find a fireplace. So we'll see about doing that. Um, but yeah, getting a bit tired, getting a bit hungry. Definitely need a drink of water and a cup of tea. So I thought I'd just check in. I haven't really done a lot of it, um, filming today because it's just been so busy. So I don't know what's going to go in the video for Saturday. I have lots for Wednesday. She can sense some cows are coming up. Oh, off she goes. So I don't have a lot going on with the cottage at the moment. Um, so to keep the two uploads a week, I'm thinking I might have to do like kind of more about the garden in both of the videos, unless people would just rather I didn't post twice a week. Um, we're just kind of at the point now with the cottage that until we get the go ahead for the grant people, which I haven't applied yet. Um, I plan on applying in May, just because apparently in the next couple of weeks, they're gonna announce maybe improvements to the grant. So the, for the sake of a couple of weeks. And also I haven't got, um, well, there's a couple of things. So I haven't got my quotes for the windows and doors. Then when I was speaking to the person that used to live in the house today, um, they mentioned that, yeah, at one point in time, the roof at the back of the house blew up and almost off. So, um, I think I should get a roof right to look it over. Now, I think a roofer is going to tell me it needs to be replaced, which financially I just, that's not in the budget. Um, but at least if they could give me an idea on, will it last? I mean, there's been some pretty gnarly storms the last couple of weeks and it hasn't blown off. So I'm hopeful that would maybe signify we're okay and it's not gonna blow off, but I just think based on what was said, a roofer should come out and look. Then the person also said, she, um, they were like, the plumbing's not great. And I was like, oh God, like the heating, the heating plumbing, if that's what you call it, the piping for the heating's not great. And she's like, eh. Like the plumbing, plumbing might not be great. And I was like, darn it. So um, potentially maybe I should get a plumber in and look at the plumbing. Uh, nothing appears to be leaking. Everything seems to be working. The taps are all working. Like maybe she means like from the well, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm like, oh, maybe I need to get a plumber in. So regardless, I think a roofer needs to come. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. That's, I mean, I haven't applied for the grant because I don't have my window and door quotes yet. But now I can't really apply until I get a roofer in. And also probably I should get a uh, plumber in as well. So uh, not ideal, but sure you learn. But anyway, nothing but road behind me. Nothing but road in front of us. Murray's leading the way. We're just at our turn now to turn up kind of towards the laneway by our house. So it's been a really nice walk. Wasn't hungry before the walk and now I'm famished. So yeah, a little bit disappointed. We saw some horses that were like really far in the distance. A lot of the land around here doesn't seem to hold animals. It seems to just be left. A lot of it's forestry. There's a forestry company that seems to own a bunch. And then the rest just seems overgrown. So that's disappointing. I kind of thought I'd live near animals. So I'm going to have to be the one with the animals. That's it. It's been decided. Um, but yeah, we're going to sign off for now. We're going to enjoy the rest of the walk. And then I'll pick you up hopefully later on. Uh, like I said, it's kind of coming up on seven. So we'll have something to eat. If there's still light, we'll... Uh, get back out into the garden and get more of the grass cut. And if there's not light, we might, or depending, we might just do the, the planting and then, uh, then it'll be home time.
Good morning. So, we have a couple things we want to do today. <laughs> she just loves that ball. Um, first is, I'm charging the batteries up because we're going to finish the grass. So let me show you where we got to in the grass. So most of the garden is now done. Not well, but it's done. And then there's that patch just kind of over here. Good girl, honey, get that ball. Get that ball. Good girl. Covered in grass, but here is a little update. So I've cleared all of this grass. You can see how long it is in other spots that I haven't got to. 